हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट दी बैक्टीरियल सेल वाल बिफोर डिस्क्राइबिंग दी सेल वाल इट इज़ मैंडेटरी टू डिस्क्राइब बैक्टीरिया फर्स्ट सो सो द बैक्टीरिया इज अ स्मॉल यूनिसेलुलर प्रोक्योरियोटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू दी किंगडम प्रोक्योरियोटी आल्सो नोन एज किंगडम मोनेरा इट इज क्लासीफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इट्स शेप सो इट इज बेसिकली ऑप्टेन एंड four types of these shapes first bacillus which is rod like shape as you can see here in this picture uh, this is bacilli and uh, you can clearly see it is rod like structure the coccus is also classified on the basis of its shape as you can see uh, the coccus is uh, spherical in shape or you can say it is oval in shape so here is another type of bacteria classified on the basis of its shape the vibrio vibrio is curved shape or you can say it is comma shaped the fourth one is spirulum it is a spiral shape just like an spring you can uh, clearly see here in this picture it is a spiral in shape so now we will learn about the cell wall the cell wall is an structure which surrounds the bacterial cell having low permeability and it is an essential barrier for bacterial cells so now here we are talking about the structural and chemical properties of the cell wall of bacteria so the main function of cell wall is to provide support and protection and it maintains the shape of bacteria as we have already discussed that bacteria is classified on the basis of its shape the cell wall protects the cell from bursting in hypotonic medium so what is hypotonic medium the hypotonic medium is a medium when the external water potential is less negative than the water potential of the cell when the cell is transformed to an environment at a less negative water potential it gains water by osmosis and it bursts due to over intake of the water the water potential is simply defined as the the potential energy of water molecule is known as the water potential cell wall also provides the mechanical support that enables the cell to carry on essential functions like cell division the bacteria is a single cellular organism and it generally divides by simple binary fission The cell wall of bacteria is chemically complex and it is made up of amino acids sugars chitin but cellulose is totally missing So here is one thing is to be noted some bacteria like mycoplasma and alpha bacteria uh, lack the cell wall they don't have cell wall The bacterial cell wall have a unique type of polymer which is known as peptidoglycan the peptidoglycan is also known as murin the composition of peptidoglycan is when some peptides and sugars combine together and make a conjugated molecule and the resultant molecule will be the peptidoglycan however it is also known as mycopeptide the peptidoglycan is composed of long glycan chains cross linked with peptide fragments so in addition to sugar molecules tachyoic acid lipoprotein and polysaccharides are also present in the cell wall now we will differentiate the gram positive and gram negative bacteria on the basis of cell wall the gram positive bacteria have thick peptidoglycan layer and having no outer lipid membrane hence the cell wall of gram positive bacteria is much more thicker than the cell wall of gram negative bacteria the tachyoic acid is found within the cell wall of uh, uh, most of the gram positive bacteria on the other hand the negative gram negative bacteria don't have tachyoic acid so here are the illustrations uh, which shows the 
composition of gram positive and gram negative cell wall so you can clearly see here the differences which differs the gram negative and gram positive bacteria here in this illustration uh, you can see this is uh, take a acid but uh, here on the other side uh, in gram negative bacteria take acid is uh, not present the size of uh, uh, gram positive bacteria is thicker than the gram negative bacteria cell wall so here is one thing is to be noted on staining the gram negative becomes violet or blue colored and gram positive becomes pink or purple in color so we can differentiate the gram positive and gram negative bacteria by dyeing them with crystal violet then we will use a decolorizing agent then the counter stain is added which may be fusin or saffronin so that's all thank you